Most famously, Ronnie O'Sullivan gave away his cue after his 2006 World Championship semi-final defeat. The man charged with making him a new one was John Paris. With Ronnie's cue, from the call coming in to the cue being ready, it was probably around about six to eight weeks, although there's a, a long process prior to that where we already had the shafts set to one side. If we hadn't have had those, Ronnie may have been looking at nearly a year before he got his cue. Players themselves know, you know what tip size or what weight that they'd like, but it's, it's a case of selecting the, the right combination of materials and the right shafts. I mean, with shafts, you get different densities, different weights within, within a, a shaft the same dimensions. So it's a case of selecting the right one that has the right throw and springiness for that particular player uh, and to meet the demands of what that player is looking for. Now I normally uh, try and pick yards that have got quite a, quite a large stock of wood to give me a good selection because we, we probably only end up with around about 2% of the wood that I actually look at that we, that we bring away. And the sort of things that I'm looking for is a, a nice clean board, straightness of grain, no knots, the right density, the right grain spacings. It's, it's sort of feel as much as anything else. Normally the boards are, are somewhere between 8 and 16 foot long, so we'll, we'll, we'll bring those back, cut them into suitable lengths for either a one piece or a three quarter queue. From there we, we, we split it down into uh, around inch and a half squares. Leave that for a certain time for the wood to, to settle down and uh, stabilise. Then we check through them again and pick the ones with the nicest looking grain. And from there it's taken down in, in gradual stages from, from a square to oversized tapers in probably three or four goes to uh, until we get to a final shaft size. The splicing is, is partly decorative, partly it adds a nice weight and balance to the queue. It's also uh, normally a, a slightly denser wood, so it's a nicer feel. You can get a smoother finish so that it's nicer in your hand, the, the ashes not so good to, to hold. It does give a, a good natural weight and balance to, uh, to the wood. There's probably perhaps 15 to 20 different species out there. The main ones that we use are, uh, are the ebonies and rosewoods for the main butt components, but then it's inlaid with various things like uh, olive wood, rosewoods, purple heart, Thuya burrs, snakewoods, which are some of the really decorative ones. Some of the cues are one piece, but the majority nowadays do have joints in them. Uh, we take a lot of trouble overfitting these joints. Uh, I think if, if you're going to cut a cue in half, it's very important that it feels as good and as solid as before it was cut. So we take a lot of time and trouble in precision fitting the, uh, the brass joints that we use, and then the faces are, are faced off precisely so that the cue is dead straight once that's, uh, once that's happened. The tip of the ferrule are the business end of the cue. It's important that you get a, a really good fit with the ferrule, so we, we precision turn the tenon at the end of the shafts to within to the point one of a millimetre, so it's a very good fit. And we actually compress the wood slightly as, as we tap the ferrule on, it's, it's designed to, to go on slightly tight. and then it, it's a case of levelling it off, fitting a good quality tip and shaping the tip to a, a nice dome so that the, as it contacts with the cue ball, you've got a, a dome on the tip so that wherever you hit the cue ball, it's a similar shaped piece that actually strikes the ball so that it imparts enough sort of spin inside. The cues are then hand planed into their, their final taper to get the right size. But then there's quite a long process, probably going through about eight or nine different sanding operations to get it super smooth, from a, a fairly coarse uh, paper to, to get the planing marks out, down to virtually a non-existent grade. We do an oil finish on the cues, so that what you see is what you get. So it, it needs to be super smooth so that it, it glides across the bridge. Most sports, players enjoy actually going out, buying new equipment and, and using new things. That doesn't happen. Unfortunately for me in snooker, people have a queue sometimes for life, so uh, I don't get too many repeat customers, but um, I suppose it, it goes with the territory of, uh, of making good queues.